I was at the grocery store the other day. They didn't have a bagger there. So you bagged your own groceries. So my son and I were bagging our own groceries. We're not done yet. We haven't paid yet or anything like that. But the guy behind me was trying to get through. He would not say, excuse me, but I like felt something over here on my left side and I kind of glance over and immediately I grab my cart and I started scooting it over and I tell my son, hey, you know, move over. And I told the guy, I said, hey, just use your manners and we'll move over. It's not a problem. And he said, just because I didn't say excuse me doesn't mean that I'm not using my manners. And I smiled at that and I just stayed silent. I didn't say a word to him. So my son is looking at me and this guy is looking at me and my son is looking at me and this guy is looking at me and I'm just bagging the groceries. And as we walk out, my son was like, wow. And I was like, what? He was like, you've really changed. I was like, what do you mean? And he said, if it was back in the day, you would have said something. I'm like, oh, heck yeah, back in the day. But I'm not giving any energy to a hater. I'm not giving any energy to anybody that is bringing negativity towards my life. You have to ignore the haters. And that guy was staring at me because he couldn't believe that I didn't clap back at him, that I didn't say something. Clearly, he was in the wrong. I was not done. My order wasn't complete. I haven't even paid for my order, but you're trying to get through in a very, very tight space. And you expected me to clap back and now there was an issue. I felt the energy. I felt his energy and I was like, I don't want to be a part of this and I don't want to add to it based off of what your response was. And I had a smile on my face. I wasn't irritated. I wasn't mad. I'm just like, hey, man, just use your matter. But I truly noticed, one, that our kids are watching us. Everything we do, everything we say. So me wanting to lead by example with what I do and how I am as a father wanted to ensure that he saw that you don't need to respond to everything that you may not like. You don't need to respond to the people that are vibrating on the low frequency. That guy was truly bothered. I mean, he stared at me the entire time and I could just feel his eyes beaming down on me and he was just staring at me. But what is the best way to get rid of a hater? You ignore. You don't give in to that because he wanted to argue. What are manners? That's not manners. I don't have the energy to argue with you. I'm not even here. I no longer even see you. So often people will get their feelings hurt. So often people will look at these comments and so often people will not like what someone does or says to them and they'll, they'll just relive these moments over and over in their head and then they start thinking negatively about themselves and then they have a bad day and then they don't know how or why this person said this and now they're reliving these moments inside of their head. They're reliving these moments inside of their brain and they feel terrible and weeks go by. And they, they remember that comment that someone said they should give up. They remember that comment that someone said they were ugly. They remember that comment that somebody said that, that they weren't going to accomplish their goals. You have to remember that hate is going to hate, right? It's called polarity, right? Good versus bad, good and evil, light and darkness, there has to be haters. Part of the reason why you've accomplished a lot of what you've accomplished is proving the haters wrong because they gave you fuel. They gave you motivation to do better. Someone called you fat and then you went and lost a whole bunch of weight. You didn't like how that felt. You wanted to prove them wrong, but it gave you motivation. Yes, it might have hurt. You didn't have to say anything back. You showed it with your actions. 
ignoring the hater. If we spent a lot of our lives ignoring the hate and focusing on the positive, focusing on who we know that we are. Someone could tell me you're ugly. Somebody has made fun of my big lips. Somebody called me the N-word several times in my life. I'm not going to let that tear me down. You can call me that all you want. I don't care anymore because I know who I am. You can walk up to me and cuss me out and I don't care because I know who I am. You're going to get ignored. And at the end of the day, you hollering and screaming and and saying the N word and saying cuss words and all of this stuff. It's not going to do anything to me. It's going to make you look stupid and feel stupid because I didn't put fuel on the fire. Think about a fire. If you have a candle, you set it on a table and then you put a cover over that candle. What happens to that fire? It puts the fire out. When you suffocate that that fire, you put the fire out. When you ignore, you're suffocating what they want it to do to you. You're suffocating what they want it to accomplish by doing these things. Most of the time, people only hate because there's something inside of them that is so painful. They didn't get enough, I love you. They didn't get enough hugs as a child. They weren't successful. They gave up on their dreams. They gave up on their marriage. They gave up on life because they didn't value who they were. So in order to feel better about themselves, they got to hate on somebody else. You see somebody at the gym that's in better shape as you, that should motivate you. That should make you happy. You shouldn't start hating on them. You see somebody with a better car than you, that should motivate you. Don't start hating on them because they have applied themselves and they have they know who they are and they're going after their dreams. Ignore the hate and you work on not hating other people. You get what you give. I remember a time where I was so freaking jealous of so many people like me. I was jealous. Why do they always get in a new car? Why do they have a nice house? Why do they this? I'm a good person. That's that's how I felt. That's how I was. And until I started shifting my mindset, this happened years and years ago. And I started focusing on myself. I started focusing on why do I feel this way? It was something missing in me. It was the damage that was inside my heart. It was the damage inside my mind where I just couldn't be happy for someone else. And as I grew and as I looked at the trauma that has happened in my life and I looked at why I was hating and I was a hater, I grew. And now I can look at every single person and be proud that they have that house, that they have that car, that they have that relationship. Your life will change when you start ignoring the haters. Your life will change when you start looking inward and start looking at yourself. Your life will change when you stop hating on other people and start saying, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your results. I'm proud of what you've done with your life. I'm proud that you moved up and you have constantly progressed in your life and it motivates me and it makes me happy. I'm proud of you. Your life will change. You will start bringing this magnetic energy towards your life, towards your goals, towards your dreams, and you will start seeing a difference in your life. Do not, I repeat, do not give in to the hate that other people give you and don't spread hate and lies on other people. Ignore the haters and your life, I promise you, I guarantee your life will change for the better. So if you want to continue to grow, if you want to continue to unleash your true potential, stick with me for the next episode. But until then, 